Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. From October 30th, 2020 through November 20th, 2020, if you use this promo code, you will automatically be entered into a drawing to win a Commander Legends Draft Booster box. Also, there is another way to enter where no purchase is necessary. See the link in the description below for full details. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to another edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. And we finally know all the cards now in Commander Legends. Obviously, that knowledge means that there's going to be cards spiking across the secondary market. You're going to see that as we go through the video today. There's other reasons for cards going up in value too, and we'll get into all that information in just a moment. Quickly before we get started though, just a fast reminder, if you go over to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use the Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. Currently, they have a lot of new products to choose from. You can pre-order your Commander Legends products there. They have Zendikar Rising products and a whole lot more on the website. Whenever you use the promo code, it also supports the channel, which is always appreciated. So thank you, and without any further ado, let's get into it. We're going to begin, as we always do, with Standard, and let's look at the top six Standard legal cards that have lost value this week. Number six is Lithoform Engine. This goes down 78 cents to 15.14 as more packs get open and cards start to circulate a little bit. This hasn't seen much Standard play, but it is a very popular Commander card already. It's in a lot of builds, including some new ones like Omnith Locus of Creation and Verizal the Split Current. Number five is Scourge of the Skyclaves, down 94 cents to 1281. Again, you have a card retracting as more copies get into circulation. This has been retracting for a few weeks now. It hasn't seen too much standard play, but in modern, it is in Death Shadow builds and more. Also, it combos with Archfiend of Despair and Commander. Sees play there in a number of different builds, including Nethroi Apex of Death. Number four is Teferi Master of Time, down 95 cents to $15. This card continues to lose value. Another card that doesn't see a lot of standard play it does pop up in a deck here or there, but it does see commander play and builds like a Trax of Praetor's Voice that was reprinted not too long ago in Double Masters. It's also in Muldrotha the Grave Tide that was reprinted recently in the list. That card, incidentally, is also going to be one of the etch foil cards in Commander Legends, and you'll find this copy of Teferi in other decks in Commander as well. Number three is Ancient Green Warden, down at $1.09 to $17.22, and shocking, but this doesn't see a whole lot of standard play either. Yet again, though, it does see play in Commander. You'll find this in Lands Builds and more there, and it's in some new builds like Omnith Locus of Creation, Obun Moldaya Ancestor, and more. Number two is Brazen Borrower. Two copies to talk about today. Throne of Eldraine goes down $1.51 to $15.79. The copy from the list goes down $202 to $35.97. That price still feels pretty inflated, so I would expect that to lose more value in the coming weeks, but it is a popular card. The only reason that Throne copy is going down, really, is because of the reprint here. Now, in Standard, you'll find this in Demir Rogue, sometimes Demir Control and more, but it also sees play in Pioneer, Modern, and Legacy. Commander, it's in popular builds there, too, like Anawan the Rune Thief, Queen Marchesa, which was reprinted in Mystery Boosters, and also another card that's going to be a foil etch showcase card in Commander Legends and other decks as well in the format. And number one is Azusa Lost But Seeking. The copy from Champions of Kamigawa continues to go down this week, 263 to $20.53. Now, of course, this got reprinted in Corset 2021. It's been pretty soft ever since that happened, but you will find this in modern Amulet Titan builds and a lot of commander decks. It is also in new commander builds like Omnith Locus of Creation, Obun Moldaya Ancestor, and more. And that brings us to the top five standard legal cards that have gained value this week. Coming in at number five is the Magic Mirror. It goes up 23 cents to 256. And this is a solid commander card. Many times this is in Joyra of the Gitu builds and more. Number four is Rankle Master of Pranks, up 23 cents to 1297. And this is a card that sees a fair amount of standard play. Rakdos Midrange, Golgari Adventures, and more. In Pioneer, it's in Mono Black Aggro. And it does see Commander play too. Anawan the Rune Thief, Tiny Bones Trinket Thief, and more there. I've also seen this in some early deck lists built around a new Commander Legends card. And this particular card is actually pushing a few cards that you're going to see in today's video. That is Belby Corrupted Observer. Number three is another card that has shown up in some of these Belby deck lists. It is Chromatic Orrery going up 24 cents to $11.20. Ultimately, though, this is a highly played Commander card in numerous builds now. Number two, the Ozolith. This goes up 31 cents to 632, and even though this doesn't see a whole lot of play in Standard or Pioneer, it does see some modern play in Hardened Scales builds. In Commander, though, this is where the card can really shine. 
It then attracts the Praetor's voice, Ixar the Exemplary, Verizal the Split Current, and more. Also, too, there is a card from Commander Legends pushing this one a little bit. That is Hamza, Guardian of Arashian, and also other cards that revolve around this particular strategy in the Slesnia Colors. Number one is Skyclave Apparition, up 52 cents to $8.74. This was losing a little value after it was spiking pretty aggressively, but the card sees a ton of play in a lot of places, and it is creeping up again. Now, you'll find this one in standard Blink builds, Esper Doom Foretold, Mono White Aggro, and more. Also does see play, though, in Pioneer, Modern, Legacy, and Commander. All right, that brings us to the top six Pioneer legal cards that have lost value this week. Coming in at number six, Escape Shift. The Corset 2019 copy goes down $1.26 to $21. Morning Tide, though, goes down $1.60 to $21.99. Now, this card doesn't see a lot of Pioneer play, but it does see play in modern Escape Shift builds. Also in Commander, you're going to find this in a lot of the lands builds and more decks in that format. Again, including some of the new ones like Omnith Locus of Creation, Obun, Moldiah, Ancestor, and more. Also, too, remember, Commander Legends is adding support to those lands builds as well, with some cards from the main set, as well as cards from the Commander Legends Commander deck Reap the Tides. Number five, there's Omnith. It is Omnith Locus of Creation down $1.30 to $12.96. And the main reason this is going down is because it was banned in Standard not too long ago. However, this card is seeing a lot of play in other places. Pioneer, Niv to Light, Four Color Omnith, Yorian Ramp, Sometimes Wilderness Reclamation, in Modern, it's in Euro Piles, Copycat, Niv to Light, and more there. And this has seen a huge amount of Commander play as a Commander, but it also does show up in the 99 of some builds too. Number four is Liliana the Last Hope, down $1.30 to $26. This does see a tad bit of Pioneer play, but it does not see as much play as many anticipated a few months ago. It does see a little Legacy and a little Commander play too, but it is losing more value this week. Number three, Uro Titan of Nature's Wrath, down $1.54 to $40.40. And this is another card that was recently banned in Standard, which is why it is soft right now. But again, you're going to find this in a lot of builds in Pioneer. Saltai Reclamation, Nif to Light, Four Color Omnith. In Modern, it's in Uro Piles and much more there. Legacy, Snowco, and other decks in that format too. And in Commander, it's going to see play in the very popular Omnith Locus of Creation build, among others. Number two is Ramanap Excavator from Hour of Devastation. This goes down $1.77 to $11.80. This card has been super hot recently, but we found out that it is going to be reprinted in the Commander Legends Commander deck Reap the Tides that I mentioned earlier. Now, aside from that, this has been a huge Commander card for a while. You'll find this in Lands builds and other decks in that format, including newer builds again, like Omnith Locus of Creation, Obun Moldiah Ancestor, and others. Outside of Commander, this doesn't see a lot of Pioneer play, but it does see Modern play in Aladamri's Toolbox decks. Also sees a fair amount of Legacy play, too. Number one, Crucible of Worlds, the one from 10th edition, goes down 281 to 4865. Now, these Crucible of Worlds cards have been spiking. They are leveling off now, though, this one more so than the others, as you can see here. Now, when it comes to gameplay, this card doesn't see a whole lot of Pioneer play, but in Modern, you'll find this in Tron builds and Vintage, it's in Golo stacks and more there. Doesn't see as much play in those formats compared to a number of months ago, but it is still kicking around. What has driven the recent spikes around these cards, though, is the Commander format again. It has seen increased play with all of the land-centric cards that came out of Zendikar Rising. And of course, again, you'll find this in decks like Omnith Locus of Creation and Obun Moldiah Ancestor. Time for the top seven Pioneer legal cards that have gained value this week. Coming in at number 7 is Archangel of Thune from Double Masters. It goes up $0.84 cents to $11.90. This is finding its price point, still a newer card to the marketplace. You will find this in a Pioneer deck, the Mono White Life Gain deck. You don't see that all the time, but it is floating around out there. It also does see a lot of Commander play. And now there are some new Commander Legends cards that could be pushing this a little bit. A couple examples of that are Lathiel the Bounteous Dawn and Lisa Shroud of Dust. Number six is Time Stream Navigator, up 94 cents to 484. You'll find this one in decks like Admiral Beckett Brass and more in Commander. And again, we have a card that's getting a push by Commander Legends cards and strategies. Notice this is a pirate, and there is a strong pirate tribal theme within the Commander Legends set. Here's four legendary creatures that are contributing to that. We have Ghost of Ramirez Di Pietro. We have Breaches Brazen Plunderer, Captain Vargas Wrath, and Zara Renegade Recruiter. Number five is Kozilek the Great Distortion. This goes up $1.05 to $13.13. Very popular commander right now, but it also does show up in the 99 of other decks in the format. This is also getting a push from Belby Corrupted Observer from Commander Legends, which we saw earlier. 
Number four, Teferi Time Raveler. You know, I've heard all the feedback. I got your cards, your letters. You say to me, we don't see enough Teferi Time Raveler on these videos anymore. Well, I got your back. This is going up $1.12 this week to $12.29. And this does see play in Pioneer, Niv to Light, Esper Control, Four Color Omnith, Jeskai Luka, and more. Also, it sees play in Modern, Legacy, Vintage, and Commander 2. Number three is Door of Destinies for Morning Tide. This particular copy has been pretty turbulent. It goes up, it goes down. This week it goes up $1.21 to $15. This is great in tribal builds of all kinds, and of course with people thinking of building around some new tribes because of Commander Legends, that could be drawing some people back to this card. Also, too, it's in popular Commander builds like Edgar Markov, for example, and has been seeing more play in Anima and the Rune Thief. Number two, Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger, another card that actually does see Pioneer play. It goes up $1.34 to $50.16. You'll find this one in Mono Green Planeswalkers. In Modern, it's in Tron Builds. Legacy, it's in Mono Green Cloudpost. And in Commander, it's in Kozluk the Great Distortion, and more there. Number one, another card that's been kind of turbulent. It is Urborg Tomb of Yogmoth, the one from Planar Chaos. It goes up $1.69 this week to $29.79. In Pioneer, this sees play. It's in Mono Black Aggro, Rakdos Pyromancer. Also sees Modern, Legacy, and a lot of Commander play. This is great with Cabal Coffers there. All right, let's move on to the world of Modern and your top five Modern legal cards that have lost value this week. Number five is Jace the Mind Sculptor. This is the original Worldweight copy going down this week, 308 to $80.61. Recently reprinted in Double Masters, the card has been soft since then, but that Double Masters copy is going up a little this week. You're going to see that later in the video as it's trying to find its price point. This does see a lot of play in Uro Piles, Azorius Control, and more. It also sees a lot of Legacy, Vintage, and even Commander play. Number four is Verdant Catacombs. This is the one from Modern Masters 2017. It goes down 314 to 5858 this week. Like all of the enemy fetches, this has had a number of recent reprintings, including the most recent one as an expedition in Zendikar Rising. We also know that enemy fetches are going to be reprinted in Modern Horizons 2 next year as well. With that being said, though, it is losing value, but it's still going to be a critical land to have in your collection. In Modern, it sees play in Jun builds and more, and like all the fetches, it's also going to see Legacy, Vintage, and Commander play. Number three is Rings of Bright Hearth from Lorwyn. It goes down 372 to 5399 this week, and of course, this is a very popular Commander card, great combo enabler. It is found in decks like Urza Lord, High Artificer, and much more. Why is it going down in value? Because it is being reprinted in Commander Legends. Number two is Marlin of the Morn Song. This goes down 821 this week to 2997 after a very aggressive spike last week. Not too unusual to see this kind of normalization after a big spike like that. Now, this has been seeing some commander play all along, but the reason this card spiked recently is because of this card right here. It is Opposition Agent from Commander Legends. And number one is Kark's Thumb. Now, this is the copy from the list. The copy from Meriden is going down as well, but not quite this aggressively. This one goes down 916 to 2240. Partially it is trying to find the correct price point, but also partially it's trying to come down off a pretty high spike last week. Now this does see play currently in O'Count and Zender split builds, but the reason it spiked last week again is because of a card from Commander Legends. This time that card is Krark the Thumbless. Okay, onto the top seven modern legal cards that have gained value this week. Coming in at number seven is Oriok Champion. This is the copy from Fifth Dawn. It goes up $249 this week to $19. Now this does see modern play in humans, Heliad Company, and more. It has seen increased commander play in Aura Skyclave Hierophant builds as well because it is a cleric. And a lot of players want to pick this up because it is a mono white human, and they might be interested in building around the Rick Grimes card in the Walking Dead Secret Layer. That card is Rick's Steadfast Leader. However, there's also a Commander Legends card that might make this a little more appealing, and we saw it earlier in the video. It's Lisa Shroud of Dusk. Number six is Ren and Six, of course, but this is the copy from the list. It goes up 250 this week to 6249. Again, partially trying to find its price point. Now you're gonna find this one in a lot of modern builds. Zero Piles, Copycat, Jund, and more. It is banned in Legacy, but it does see some play in Vintage, and it is a popular Commander card in Lands Builds and more. And like a lot of the cards we've been talking about today, it has seen increased play in Omnith Locus of Creation and Obun Moldaya Ancestor decks. Number five is Birds of Paradise. This is the copy from 7th edition, drying up a little bit this week as it goes up 258 to 1372. Now, Birds of Paradise as a card isn't super hard to find. It's been printed a lot of times. Most recently it was in Mystery Boosters and also the Ornithological Study Secret Layer. But nevertheless, this particular copy does have unique art and some people are drawn to it. 
in Modern, this is in Devoted Devastation and more. Also see some legacy play and a lot of play in Commander in various builds. Number four is Battletide Alchemist. This goes up 320 to 499, and you know what this is. It is a rare for Morning Tide that is yet to be reprinted. So I'll use my one per video. You know, you know this because you watch this all the time. That cards from this time period of magic are a little harder to find due to a recession in the game. Less packs were cracked. So when these cards get a little attention, especially rares, they tend to spike a little bit. And that's partially what you're seeing here. But what actually caused the spike? Well, it is increased commander play in those Aura Skyclave Hierophant builds. Number three is Vesuva from Time Spiral. This was reprinted in the list, but this copy is still going up 322 this week to 3365. You'll find this one in Aladamri's Toolbox, Amulet Titan builds as well, and in Legacy, it's in Mono Green Cloud Post. And Commander, another card for your lands builds and other decks too in that format. Again, it is seeing some increased play in Omnith Locus of Creation and some other new builds. Number two is Flagstones of Trocare. You're going to find this one in those Aladamri Toolbox builds in Modern as well, and other decks in the format. Also sees a little vintage play, and it's in a number of different Commander decks. Ultimate Masters up at $1.12 to $14.99. Time Spiral up $3.71 to $20.95. And number one is Ball Lightning, the original copy from the Dark. It goes up $4.96 to $26.03. Basically, a number of cards from the Dark have been hot recently. It was the next Black Bordered expansion to come out after Legends, but the print run on the Dark is much different from the print run of the previous sets before it. So these cards have been maintaining relatively low prices for a long time. But they are getting harder to find in good condition, and when people see some of the other older cards going up in value, again, a lot of the reason for that is scarcity, they move on to the next set that might be a little more affordable. With that being said, Ball Lightning is modern legal. It doesn't necessarily see a whole lot of modern play or anything, but it does see Commander play in Grevin, Predator, Captain, and more. Nice little segue to the Vintage Spotlight. This is where we're going to talk about cards that see play in 9394, Legacy, Vintage, or just cards that are important among collectors. Like I have been doing with this section of the video, I'm only going to tell you if the card is not on the reserve list. Grim Monolith up 257 to 249.08. This card has been relatively stable recently. We haven't seen it on the market watch in a while, but it is starting to creep up just a little bit. Maybe it's an indication that more is to come. We'll have to see. But this does see legacy play. Sometimes you'll find this in Mono Green Cloud Post or Eldrazi Stoppy. Also, you can find this in a lot of different commander builds. Volcanic Island from Revise. This one goes up 293 this week to 598.75. City of Traders, another card that sees a lot of legacy play. You'll find this in Omnitel, Karn Echoes, Mono Red Prison, Eldrazi Stompy, and more. It goes up 294 this week to 187.21. Taiga from Revised up 330 to 299.99 this week. Alabara's Carpet goes up 1040 to 63.98. Mox Diamond from Stronghold. This did get printed one more time in foil. You can find that copy in From the Vault Relics. But this Stronghold copy is going up 1067 to 599.50 this week. Another card that we haven't seen a lot of recently on the Market Watch, but it has been an expensive card for a long time. In Legacy, this is in Lands and Four Color Loam, and another card that you'll find in a lot of different Commander builds. Planar Gate goes up 1370 this week to 6199. Savannah Lions from Unlimited goes up 1533 to 94.99. Now this one is not on the reserve list, but there's been a lot of cards from Unlimited that have been getting hot recently. Firestorm Phoenix, this goes up 1652 to $62. Urza's Miter, this goes up 1719 to $49.73. Lion's Eye Diamond, this goes up 1803 to $355. Another card that has been quiet recently, starting to go up again, it looks like. Now you'll find this one in Legacy, Karn Echoes, Doomsday, The Epic Storm, and more. Also sees Vintage and Commander play. Mana Matrix up 1866 this week to 7499. Gravity Spear up 1995 to 123. Recall from Legends, not on the reserve list, it has been reprinted. This one though goes up 2475 to 8975. Soul Ring from Unlimited, not on the reserve list. Of course, you know this is printed all the time in those Commander products. But this unlimited copy jumping up 2491 to 10809 this week. Dancing Scimitar, again, not on the reserve list, but it is going up $30.45 to 8171. Brain Geyser from Unlimited. This got one more printing and revised, but this unlimited copy goes up 5249 to 17499 this week. Force Field from Unlimited up 16948 to 39999. And finally, Ancestral Recall from Unlimited goes up 47804 to 2969.99. 
Now, when I looked at actual prices compared to what you might find in the large websites when it comes to these cards this week, they actually were pretty much accurate. It does feel like the market manipulation is slowing down a little bit when it comes to these vintage cards, at least right now. The higher movements this week were really due to the fact that higher grade copies were in the marketplace and in some cases selling. And that brings us to the Commander Spotlight. A lot to talk about, so let's get right into it. Synapse Sliver, great for those Commander Sliver builds. This one goes up a dollar to $19.99. Mind Over Matter on the reserve list, it goes up a dollar to $36.36. This does see Commander Play and a Zombie Lady of Scrolls and more. I alluded to this one earlier. Jace the Mind Sculptor from Double Masters up a dollar or one to fifty two twenty five. Mycosynth Golem. This goes up a dollar or two to twenty dollars and eighty nine cents. Now this was reprinted recently in the list, but this copy from Fifth Dawn is still going up in value, and this does see some commander play, but it could also be getting a push by some of those new Commander Legends cards. The ones I'm thinking about for this one are Rebic Architect of Ascension, Armex Filigree Thrasher, and Iktekic Salvage Splicer. Tezzeret the Seeker from Modern Masters 2015, up a dollar of four to eighteen dollars. Very popular commander card in builds like Urza Lord High Artificer, Brea Ethereum Shaper, and more. Winds of Change, the copy from Portal, goes up a dollar of four to forty dollars and eighty-five cents. This copy is getting harder and harder to find in good condition, and it does look like it's drying up online a little this week. This does see commander play in Nakusar the Mind Razor and more. Shivan Dragon, this is the one from Revised, drying up a little bit online this week, up a dollar oh five to eleven dollars and thirty-three cents. This does see Commander play and builds like a Tarka World Render and more. Dockside Extortionist up a dollar oh seven to thirty-three oh six. Very popular commander card in a lot of different builds, but it is getting a little push from Commander Legends as well. This card and Cloudstone Curio together can work very well with this right here. Rogue Rock, son of Rogue Ah. Now, notice this is a Kobold Warrior, and there are Kobold cards from Legends that are going up in value this week, too. Considering the rarity of the Legends cards, they weren't moving up enough for me to put them in the Vintage Spotlight this week. But if you're interested in Kobolds, you might want to check those out. Some of them are already retracting from Spikes last week, but others are still increasing. Teferi's Protection from Commander 2017. It goes up $1.07 to $37.98. Recently reprinted in Mystery Boosters. It's also going to be in the Extra Life 2020 Secret Layer, which is on sale this weekend. But regardless, this copy is still going up. Granted, this is some rebounding off recent losses, but this is a fantastic card in white in Commander. Mana Flare from 5th Edition. Solid Commander card in a lot of builds. I got a Command Zone mention this week. Goes up $1.10 to $5.88, but the main reason it's moving is because of a Commander Legends card again. Many players are putting Mana Flare and early deck lists around this card right here. Your Lock of Scorch Thrash. Isochron Scepter, this is the one from the list, so it is trying to find its price point a little bit. It was also recently reprinted in Double Masters. This copy goes up $1.10 to $7.49. Highly played Commander card in Urza Lord High Artificer and more. Green Sun Zenith from Eternal Masters up $1.10 to $18.91. Highly played card, seeing more play now in builds like Omnithocus of Creation, Ashaya Soul of the Wild and more. Also sees a lot of legacy play in Elves and other decks there. Phyrexian Arena, this is the one from 9th edition, drying up a little bit online this week. It is a popular commander card, though, in a lot of decks. It goes up $1.13 to $13.29. Unnatural Selection, this is yet to be reprinted. It goes up $1.14 to $3.75. Now, this currently does see play in Commander Yurko, the Tiger Shadow builds. That is another card that is going to be one of the etch foil cards in Commander Legends. But the main reason this is increasing right now is because of a new card from that set. That is Gore Maldrak, a Phenoologist. Platinum Imperion from Scars of Meriden. This goes up $1.15 to $10.83, and this does see Commander playing Kozilek, the Great Distortion, and more. But again, this is moving because of the same cards that are moving Mycosynth Golem, which we discussed earlier in the video. Rebecca Architect of Ascension, Armex Filigree Thrasher, and Iktekic Salvage Splicer. Training Grounds, the copy from the list is going up $1.20 to $45.75. This is a popular commander card in Kenrith Return King, also in Sliver Builds and more. Aboro, Palace in the Clouds, this card spiked not too long ago, then it did retract quite a bit, and now it's starting to climb again, trying to find its true price point. It goes up $1.25 to $49.25, and of course this has the increased play in Omnithocus of Creation. Also it does see some modern play in Mill and more. Phyrexian Altar from Invasion. This goes up $1.25 to $42.07, and this has already seen increased commander play in Aura Skyclave Hierophant builds, but there is a combo between this card, Gravecrawler, and a new card from Commander Legends. That card is Tormod the Desecrator. Also, Phyrexian Altar did get a command zone mention this week. 
And Lightning Tutor from Eternal Masters up at $1.26 to forty nine twenty two. This was reprinted in the list, and it's a highly played commander card. But again, this is getting a push from some new Commander Legends cards as well. Three cards that could be moving this a little bit. Again, Arcanum Weaver, Rehab, Mastersmith, and Wireless Soul of Steel. Now that last one is found in the Commander Legends Commander deck, Arm for Battle. Cabal Coffers from Torment up at $1.33 to sixty nine ninety eight. Highly played Commander card in multiple builds. Good with Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth, which we saw earlier. And this has seen increased play recently in Tiny Bones Trinket Thief. Sphere of Resistance up at $1.34 to seventeen fifty three. This has seen increased play recently in Yasharn and Placable Earth builds. Also, it's popping up in some early deck lists built around Belby Corrupted Observer. Leonin Arbiter, Commander 2017 up at $1.18 to four fifty. Scars of Meriden up at $1.35 to five twenty five this week. This is a popular Commander card. It's an Arabo Roar of the World, Ren and Syrian Separable, and more. Also, too, it currently sees modern play in Death and Taxes and more. It even sees a little vintage play. On top of that, it got a Talarian Community College mention this week, but what's really pushing it? Well, this is a card that you can play defensively against the card that we saw earlier from Commander Legends, Opposition Agent. Multani Maro Sorcerer, this goes up $1.36 to $13. This is on the reserve list, it's a fairly popular commander, also in Grothama, all devouring builds, and more. Demonic Tutor, this is the one from Dual Decks Anthology, it goes up $1.36 to $41.80, even though, again, there have been recent reprintings of this card. It does see a lot of commander play and some vintage play. Damnation from Modern Masters 2017, up $1.41 to $40.99. This is a fantastic board sweep in black for commander. Also see some modern play as well, and it was even on commander versus this week. Could have brought some attention to it. But one thing to be mindful of when it comes to this card, there was an unverified leak that this is going to be in a secret layer coming soon. Didgeridoo up $1.45 to $16.38. You'll find this one in Sethron, Herloon, General Builds, and sometimes some other places. It is on the reserve list. Unholy Grotto up $1.50 to $13.76. You will find this sometimes in Commander Zombie Builds. Another card that got a little push from the Walking Dead Secret Layer as well. But this also could be moving because of a card we talked about earlier from Commander Legends, Tormod the Desecrator. Gift of Estates, this is the portal copy drying up a little bit online this week. Again, getting harder to find in good condition. It does see a little commander play, but this is the only copy moving. It goes up $1.57 to $9.19. Tombstone Stairwell up $1.68 to $18.74. This is on the reserve list. It does see some commander play, but again, this is moving because of a card from Commander Legends. This time, that card is the least reverence medium. Blood Moon from the Dark up $1.75 to $54.96. Again, some of these cards from the Dark are getting pretty hot. In Commander, this is showing up in Krenko Mob Boss builds and Goto Bandit Warlord builds, among others. Both of those cards, though, were recently reprinted, of course. In Modern, it's in Blitz, Grill Midrange, Mono Red Aggro, and more. Also sees Legacy play as well. Sarah's Sanctum on the reserve list up $1.83 to $187.10, starting to move a little bit again. This is great, of course, in Commander builds that have a lot of enchantments in them, and could be getting a push from those cards we saw when we discussed Enlightened Tutor. Again, Arcanum Weaver, Rehab Mastersmith, and Wireless Soul of Steel. Ulamog the Infinite Jaya from Rise of the Eldrazi up at $1.97 to $47.36. This is in those Kozilek the Great Distortion builds and more in Commander. Edgar Markov. This is only found in foil. It goes up $207 to $2502. It's a very popular Commander, but the reason I think it's moving this week is because we found out it was not going to be reprinted as one of those etched foil cards in Commander Legends. Razorclaw Bear from Portal Second Age. Again, getting hard to find in good condition. It goes up $211 to $4285. You'll find this one in Commander Bear Tribal Builds. Cleansing from the Dark. It goes up 217 to 1087. It is on the reserve list. And I think here you have an example of a card that hasn't necessarily been bought out yet, unless, of course, this is the start of that. But there are players that are worried at some point some of these cheaper reserve list cards are going to get bought out and they're going to spike. So you do see more people gravitating to them. Overabundance up 219 to 472. Another card that has seen some Commander play, but is getting a push from a Commander Legends card. We talked about this one earlier. It is your lock of Scorched Thrash. Season of the Witch, another reserve list card from the Dark, moving over $2, up 224 to 33.82. This card has been traded a lot recently, but I do think that, again, this is a situation that people are trying to pick it up because they're afraid it's going to go up in value more in the short term. So, with that being said, the card does see some Commander play. Maybe it will see more in the future with some new Commander Legends cards. We'll have to wait and see. Frankenstein's Monster, here's yet another one. It's from the dark, it's on the reserve list, it goes up 252 to 1499. Moving for the same reasons these other cards from the dark on the reserve list are moving. 
Now, this maybe could see a little additional play due to a card we talked about earlier from Commander Legends, Tormod the Desecrator, but currently this card barely sees any play. Horn of Greed, this is the one from Stronghold, up 301 to 1399. This has seen increased commander play in Omnith, Locus of Creation, Obun, Moldiah, Ancestor, and more. Mana Web, this is on the reserve list. It goes up 331 to $35. This card has been pretty hot recently, even looked like maybe it was the target of a buyout or at least a mini buyout not too long ago. But now there is a reason to pick it up, and it is one of those Commander Legends cards that we have been talking about. Again, your lock of Scorched Thrash. I have seen a lot of players working this into some of those builds already. On top of that, this got a command zone mention this week as well. Goblin Wizard. Okay, I'm going to let everybody at home do this card, because I think by now you know why this is going up in value. I'll wait. Yep, you're right. It is a card from the dark that's on the reserve list. It goes up 340 this week to 6626. And this one does see some commander play and Krenko mob boss builds and more. But again, it just looks like it's drying up online as people are trying to pick it up before the price gets worse. Piracy from Portal Second Age up 398 to 2899. Now the starter 1999 copy is moving just a little bit up. This one is moving much more aggressively. We'll have to see if the starter 1999 follows. But right now, this is a card that is harder to find in good condition. Does see a little commander play currently. I do think some people might be picking this up for flavor reasons, though, because they are interested in building a pirate deck with the new Commander Legends Pirates. Or it could be some people speculating the players will want to do that, and they're trying to pick up copies now. Temporal Manipulation, another card from Portal Second Age, which means, yes, another card that is getting harder to find in good condition. But this one was reprinted recently in the list. This copy, though, goes up $4.80 to $41.68, and it does see a fair amount of commander play in various builds. Psychic Vortex, this is on the reserve list. It is climbing $9.72 this week to $12.72, but this is not just some random buyout. There is a card from Commander Legends moving this, as well as the next two cards we're going to see, and that card is Obeka Brute Chronologist. This could become one of the more popular build-around cards in the set. Final Fortune currently sees Commander playing Goto Bandit Warlord builds and more, but again, moving because of Obeka. This also got a Command Zone mention this week. 7th edition goes up 395 to 1566, Mirage up 559 to 1848, and 6th edition goes up 1067 to 1995. And finally, the third card moving because of Obeka, it is Last Chance. This is also a card that you might already find in some Commander Goto Bandit Warlord builds, for example. But the portal copy goes up 2050 to 7049, and the starter 1999 copy goes up 2892 to 5888. The portal copy started climbing first. You might remember that from last week. The starter 1999 copy got kind of a late start, but I would expect them to be closer in value probably within the next couple weeks. That brings us to the premium spotlight. And you know, I don't like to spend too much time on the rare foils or promos because the data can be very misleading. If the card doesn't get enough sales any given week, then you might have some weak data. In worst case scenario, that data can be manipulated. But every week, I like to find a few cards that feel like they're moving naturally with the market. This week, I went with three. The first one we haven't talked about yet. We actually talked about this card last week. It is Chance Encounter. The foil from Odyssey still climbing up 1838 to 69.99. Now this does see play currently in Okown and Zender split builds, but the reason it's moving this much right now is because of the Commander Legends card we saw earlier in the video, Krark the Thumbless. Now the next two cards we already discussed in the video, the first is Final Fortune. That foil from 7th edition goes up 2660 this week to 32450. And finally, Phyrexian Altar. The Ultimate Masters foil goes up $1.54 to 5396. The Invasion foil goes up 3104 to 18991. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. If you made it to the end, hey, thanks for sticking with me. It was another long video, but there's a lot happening, as you can see, in the secondary market. As always, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page, as well as our Amazon affiliate store, where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.